I am Clint Curry, aka Genitalia. So I'm in a gay men's chorus production of Miracle on 30 Funk Street. It's gonna be a really great Harris Theater tomorrow that's Koki. Um, and I'm one of five drag queens on the show. It's gonna be somebody that's performing um, for a crowd. Usually it's not, they're definitely larger than life personas um, that are usually stage productions or um, attendees at, park, at like bars and things like that to help them up the bar. I think the biggest misconception is that like is that there is a, there isn't a difference between like drag queens versus like transgender people versus um, transvestites. And, um, so like there's just a big separation. Um, drag queens are strictly usually strictly performers. There are definitely transgender people who are drag queens, but the true definite like I would say most drag queens are just typically gay men who who don't live as women, but enjoy the performance and enjoy being entertainers, and so they go into love the shows. I love going there, it was so much fun. A lot of my friends would go and we would just have fun tipping the drag queen van. Um, but um, I'd say that probably the best part of any drag show is actually what's going on down in the dressing room, which is unfortunately not, no one really gets to see them. It's so, I love it when um, you get a good group of girls that know each other pretty well down in the dressing room at the same time, because it's so much fun um, just joking around. Um, or if you're gonna go, if you're there doing a pageant when there's a bunch of queens that like they'll see each other just every year at pageants and then hearing the banter back and forth between them. And... Some sisters will help sisters out. Some sisters. Some sisters don't. Well, not. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. I think I look. Do you, I don't look good tonight. Yeah, you're looking good. The hardest part is looking good. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot. Um, I look back, I don't even think I'm that great now, but man, I look back to when I first started and I look at pictures from my first couple shows and I was like, God bless my friends and those people in that audience for giving me a dollar because I look a dog's mess. I love the performance. I love that when you're your alter ego, you gotta be somebody else. You don't have to worry about, you know, what anybody thinks. I, I know I'm a very loud voice. I'm a pretty loud voice person anyway, but I get, I get, I get knocked up like 10 notches when Jim and Tilly's on. Um, it's so much fun to flirt with boys at the bar, um, to go be outrageous. If you see other queens, you can go talk to them, and it kind of is a different um, dynamic than if a if it's like a, a person just walks up to a queen. It's a little different when you're both in drag. Um, it's just fun. Forgot to mention one little thing. A ring. She don't mean on the ball. She said to me. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry down the chimney tonight. 